Here's a quick walk around of my car. It's a 2013 Scion FRS. I purchased it about three days ago. It has 20,000 miles. And I'm planning on converting this into a full drift build. I'm gonna be changing everything. I'm gonna be doing a lot of modifications, exterior and interior, as well as a modification of the engine. The first thing I'm gonna do within the week is definitely get an exhaust, so stay tuned. Uh, subscribe because there's going to be a lot of great content I'm going to be releasing on this car. Uh, let's see, what else? I guess I'll show you the interior real quick. Nothing really much to show, it's completely basic. Yeah, six speed manual if I didn't mention it before. It came with this weird wrap that kind of sucks. I'm gonna be peeling that off and redoing that. Maybe not red. Cool little FRS logo. Six speed manual. 20,000 miles. Yeah. Show you under the hood real quick. I mean, there's nothing even much to show it's completely stock once I get the engine upgrades the turbo kit all that it's gonna look a lot better I love the car personally it is very how should I put this it's not fast but it actually it's a good quick car yeah I have a drift spare need another one um, as I was saying it's it's not a fast car, but it is quick, and it handles amazingly. I have back roads, and I take these back roads at about 40, 50 miles an hour, hitting corners, and it, it just sticks and turns. It's an amazing car. I am very happy with my purchase. Before this, I had a 2008 G37S manual, and that car was nice, but it was not as nice as this. Like, that car was all luxury but when it came to performance this handles a lot better the g37 was about 3700 pounds this car comes up to 2700 pounds so that's a thousand pound difference and i actually feel it it feels amazing super light it's like i'm flying or some crap it's incredible uh before i leave i just wanted to say um subscribe and you know leave a like comment on this video if you want to see more of this build when I start it or not, um, just let me know. But uh, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.